Welcome back. It's your boy Jordan Molly, also known as G and their small. Right now we're getting right back into it yet again in the chair, getting ready to do another reaction video. And today is gonna be another void reaction. Now, if you are new here, we reacted to Void's latest two districts that he did. He did one on Rice Gum and one on Jake Paul. And the Jake Paul one was fire. The Rice Gum one didn't rate that highly. Felt like he, Void was good, but his feature wasn't that great. Uh, he wasn't that amazing. I kind of ruined the song because he had him at the end. I was just like, ooh, it's not the best. But he's gone and he, Void has gone and done a part two diss track on Jake Paul. Um, yeah, so as you can imagine, um, this is going to be interesting to hear what Void has to say. Um, you know, it's especially big as well because I think this came out not too long ago as well. So and I think it was not long after his fight with Nate or just before. Um, yeah, I, you see, I actually saw the highlights of that fight and it was awful. Like, Jake's got three years of boxing in him, and then, what, two years of pro boxing in him. And I'm watching someone, Nate, Nate who's had three months of pro boxing, knows fuck all about the sport. Did he, he used to do, like, NFL or NBA, or whatever he did. Came in. And the way he fought was so bad and embarrassing. And then you'd have someone like Jake who was even more embarrassing calling out saying that he wants to fight fucking McGregor. Conor McGregor. You know, probably, most likely, one of the UFC's greatest champions and fighters that they've ever had. Like, he's up there with one of the best they've ever had, success-wise. Outside of USC and inside the octagon. Like, he's a disgusting. He's also fought the amazing, the legend, the king, Money Mayweather. And gave him a good bow. And if you're actually follow boxing, he was actually winning. Until the fight got ended. He was actually winning in the earlier rounds. And as the rounds went on, he blew his gasket and lost because Mayweather just had that experience as a boxer. And this dickhead, the Jake Paul, wants to fight McGregor? What in MMA or boxing? Either way, you're both fucked. You're fucked both ways if you want to fight McGregor. McGregor has more power than Nate Robertson. He has more power. He would kill you. He, I bet McGregor is literally looking at this little boy and just laughing. Like, howling at this boy who thinks he has the right to call him out. You could barely, want, you barely wanted to fight JJ the first time. Everyone, like, he's going to say he did it. Yes, you did. You dodged and weaved and dodged and weaved. Away from KSI, you got a fight with Dechi because your big bro came in and agreed to fight KSI. But after that was done, everybody knew what JJ was going to want to do. He was going to want to fight you. But you, your channel, everything you on YouTube went dry and stale. And this guy thinks he's still relevant enough. You be a nobody in, like, not even us in the UK knew. Or anyone, merely anyone else in the world knew. KSI is more well known than you. I even think your big, your older brother's a bit more well known than you. Well, I think Long is a lot more respected than what Jake is, even though that is very surprising. But well, I'm looking forward to hearing what this sounds like because I just want to hear Void go in on this little boy. I just do. <laughs> Here we go again, little boy. <laughs> Come on, boy. Don't let me down. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boy. He's talked that beat again, hasn't he? Yeah, it. Yeah. Fuck's sake. You did 323. What is it? 
is your legacy. 23 but you still lie like you not. Just got the felony. You was the enemy. Kennedy, you get it. Drop like a fly. Woo! Tell us you breathe it heavily. Trying to catch up, but you falling behind. True. Never see COVID is that you see people be dying in front of your eyes. Got a new bitch. She a hooters hoe. Say you. You got a new bitch, he's a hoot as hell. Well, that's a good a ta -ta shot if I've seen one. Isn't he still seeing Tana or whatever, or married to her? That nothing's more fake than Tana's. Oh, God. Like, if you're on about something that's dry and still, Tana. Tana is dry. That dry, personality wise, dry. A standard. Dry. Everybody knows she's not into Jake. Everyone knows she's not into him. They married each other to try and get clout or whatever. No one gave a shit. No one did. Like I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why did they think? Why? 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 Why did? Why? Why is it in America? Why is it just Americans? It seems that do dumb shit like this. Like what Jake does. And Britain, Britain's is, Britain's fine. England is good. America, they are fucked up. They're either fucked up or boring or cringe. Or all three. And then you have Jake Paul. Tell me which videos has he had over, over the last six months that has hit over a million views. Compared to what, well, actually, let's compare it to what he was getting about a year ago. He was getting millions upon millions upon millions of views. How many how many views does he get per video now compared to what he used to get? I bet you it's nothing anywhere near the same. Started shit, but you didn't, though. You know, I'm a beef with every fucking dad of every single girl and every video. You can take McGregor, you don't stand a chance. He's an ant-eater, you're a fucking ant. Oh. Look with my fucking hand, knock your 12 year olds at your fucking trip. Um, he's an ant eater, you're a fucking ant. I kind of like that, but at the same time, could you maybe use that he's an, he, that you're an ant in a, a different manner of form? Like, you could have threw in a little bit more to give it a bit more of an extra punch. But that's just me, that's my musical mind working. Like I said, it worked. And it was good, but it just felt like he's an ant eater, you're a fucking ant. It was just, you, he's an ant eater, you're a fucking ant. Like, the last diss track, when you said something about him, you explained it, bang, and then you came in and blew it away. You just said to it, redonkulous. Like I said, it works, it works, but you got to have that. Mm. It's like basically yeah, that's a diss. That is a diss. Yeah, it needs to come in and just hit you out of the fucking blue. Just needs to hit you. You don't expect it. It just there it is. That's a diss track. It's twenty three. What is your legacy? Twenty three. But you still like you Just got the felony. You was the enemy. It feels a little bit more like a song though. This instead of a diss. Did Jake steal bars? Get everybody get in the comments. Has Jake Paul ever stole bars? We know that he steals flaws. Has he stole bars before? Has he done it? Because if Jake Paul has ever stole bars from another artist, how the fuck can he come towards KSI saying that KSI's music shit when his is all authentic original music come from him, wrote from him? How has he dared to be able to say your music's not that good and you don't write anything, you've got ghostwriting? Jake, you're the biggest cunt alive. And I pray to God your channel goes dry. Oh, sorry, it already is.
That's a fact. I don't give a fuck if I've got a small channel. This, this boy doesn't care if he's got less subs than Jake. Kill him. Kill him for all I care. You, you finished him about ten times in the last video. The amount of shit you were saying. Like, this one just feels a little bit too much more like a song. I'm sorry, it doesn't feel like a diss. It feels more like a song. There's been some disses in here, but they're not as good and they're not as <clears throat> in them as they were with the first one. Back, you can't find us. We in a whole different rhyme zone. He said he got a book charge. Are you talking to stress it? It's the one inside your iPhone. No, it's not. Rule the floor. When you're reading it, and they're not your boss, we didn't pay for it. Cool goal. You've been making it for making it too wrong. So make a right and let's take care. Go to the cow city back to the barn. Our flies can't be right away with a critical shit. And then they meet that I'm up and I'm ass with the first brand new first edition charge on. Hey, yo, girl. She says she loves you. She says she yo. Alright, quick question. Why is Pokemon playing cards a big thing now? Please let me know. When I was a kid, Pokemon was battling heavily up against Yugi, Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I preferred the card game for Yu-Gi-Oh more with po than Pokemon. I did have Pokemon cards, of course. Yes, I was a massive Pokemon fan, but I had more Yu-Gi-Oh cards than Pokemon because I actually preferred the actual game, card game, to Yu-Gi-Oh than having Pokemon cards. I still have Pokemon cards, yes, but I prefer to watch the movies and the TV show. That's just who I was. But I did love Yu-Gi-Oh! as a TV series. Fuck that. That was amazing. If, if you remember Yu-Gi-Oh! TV series, get in the comment section. Ooh, that was kind of fire. That was fire. Like he's going on about, do people like me? Do people find me funny? Do they like Jake Paul? No, they don't, Jake. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't like you. No one likes you. You're a prick. <laughs> you are. You're a cunt. You, you just are. You're not funny. You're not gifted in any form or way. You think you are. You're not. Fair enough, I'll give you some credit that you're actually not horrific at boxing. You've got some ability. But guess what, Jake? Your brother's still better than you. Your brother's still a lot better than you. I can see a lot more technical ability in Logan than with Jake. And then I love seeing how people were like, Okay, so he's going to have to train a lot. If he's going to want to go up against Jake. What you talking about? I've seen no change in him. He went up against a fucking geezer that had three months of training. Jake's had three years. Fucking common sense. Who do you think's going to win? The one with the experience or the one with no experience? Guess what? If there's such a big gap in difference when it comes to experience in a fight, guess who's going to win? The one with experience. The one that goes up against people like Deji and Gib who are aggressive guys when they're in the ring. They're that, that's that kind of, that's their kind of style. Gib, let the moment get to him. Let the occasion get the best of him. And that's why he lost. His mental state, whilst he was in the ring, was shot. He was done for. And I had a feeling it was gonna happen. Because when Gib was saying seven figure give it, I'm like, Gib, no, you're fucking not. You're a five figure. Like, seriously, I love Gib, but. And he makes me howl, but I'm, look, I was watching it. I'm like, I want him to win, but I know he's not. He's going to crumble. He's going to crumble. The reason to why he's never been on anything like this, he's never done this scale, and it's going to fuck him up. With everybody hyping Gib up as well. They should not have done that. I'm sorry they shouldn't have done that. Adding more pressure to him. That's what they did. KSI, the rest of the sidemen, they all did it. They kept gassing him up. My friends who did boxing, I never gassed them up. 
I said, yeah, you're decent. You could be great if you work hard enough. But I never, ever, ever said that they were dangerous. I never said that they were beasts until they went and proved it in the ring. You don't gas them up way too much before a fight. And that's where they went wrong with Gib. Yes, Gib is a decent little brawler. He's a scrapper. He's a scrappy little fighter. And he can get the job done. But once pressure, so much pressure, is added up to you in a boxing fight or an MMA fight, it can sometimes get the best of you. And it may make you lose. And that's what happened to Gib against Jay. Wait, what was that? What was that? Yeah, that is true though, he does have his friends up here. Took the, took the, wait, 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 wait. Took the vid down, got it back up to Ghost Fighters, got a back, got a back. Wait, what? Took the vid down, got it back up, two Ghost Fighters, got a back up. Ooh. Oh wow, I saw that, I saw that. I saw that when this little prick said that he started YouTube boxing. Jake, you're so deluded. It was Joe Weller. And Theo fucking Baker, you prick. Oh, this boy just boils your piss. He thinks he's so funny. He thinks he's so good. He thinks the world revolves around him. He's a cunt. I'm sorry, but it needs to be said. YouTube, I'm surprised that they still allow him to upload videos. Because how much of a dickhead he is. I'm sorry. Like, I don't normally say about anyone, like, I don't normally, but just the way he is, the way he acts, he's just a dick. Like, oh, he, 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 everything he says and everything he does, like, I put up on my, on my social media, oh, this is something away from my YouTube and sent it to my friends. About Jake calling out McGregor. Do you want to know what my friend said? Does the boy want to die? We're saying this as fight fans. Boxing fans. UFC fans. We're saying this. Because we've watched McGregor fight. Countless times. And we're saying. And we've watched Jake fight. We've seen him fighting. He's shit. So we're saying, does he want to die? Because that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like you want to do, Jay. Do you want to die? Because that's what McGregor will do. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 is, that is a fact. Keep dissing him, boy. Keep dissing him until he learns. Till he learns how to shut his mouth. Like, he needs to, because otherwise, I'm more than looking forward to hearing what you have more of, or, you know, more of this. But that is going to be it, folks. That is Void with the Jake Paul diss track part two reaction for you. Um, do I think it was better than the first? Not really. But I think it's still a solid track. Still some good disses in there. I felt like it was more of a song than a than a diss, but like I said, they had he had a few di uh, disses and a few digs in there. But the first one for me was just stupid. The first one was just ridiculous with how just mad it was. Yeah, mad. That's gonna be it though for me, ladies and gents. I will see you all next time. I will be back on tomorrow. I finish at 6 tomorrow, so 
I will see you all back then. So that's it for me, folks. See you now. Take care. I'm always waiting for you.